Hello. After an absence of two weeks, the special report is back. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission is running full steam now, so we'll be with you every Sunday night for the foreseeable future. Tonight we're going to tell you the remarkable story of a very courageous man who gave testimony at this week's Commission hearings in Kimberley. It's the story of Father Michael Lapsley, an Anglican priest who was mutilated by a litter bomb, but his spirit and his resolve only grew stronger. I was a soldier, but my weapon was my tongue. The, the irony is that they never got in the attempt to kill me. They left intact the very weapon that I was then, in a way, able to mobilize even more effectively, uh, illustrating in my body what apartheid um, is all about. And, and, and my view is that it was a supreme act of both desperation and failure on the part of the apartheid regime. We're going to give you a report back on an earlier Truth Commission case that has been solved. And we'll focus on the controversial South African Defence Force attack on the Swapo settlement at Kasinga in Angola, an attack which has been in the news again the last two weeks. But let's start with a rather complicated tale of a grenade attack that went very wrong. An unexpected confession on Tuesday proved that the wrong men went to jail for it. 